A never-before-seen meteor shower may brighten the skies with a number of dazzling streaks. It is often regarded as the most spectacular of the year. It is set to peak on August 11th. However, because of the effects of moonlight, the optimum time to observe the event in 2022 may be just before this. The Perseid meteor shower is linked with the comet Swift Tuttle. The meteors are known as Perseids because they appear to emanate from the constellation Perseus. The Perseids will peak on the night of August 11th to 12th, according to the American Meteor Society, MAS, while the shower will be active from July 14th to September the 1st. According to the MAS, at the height of the shower, you may expect to see between 50 and 75 visible meteors per hour if you observe them from a location with a clear sky and little light pollution. But on the peak night in 2022, the moon will be full, making it more difficult to see the event. For example, last year was fantastic. Since the moon was essentially new, thus was not visible. There was no pollution from the moonlight. Unfortunately, this year's full supermoon, the last of the year, will coincide with the peak of the Perseids. The full moon is visible throughout the night, reducing the enjoyment of the meteor shower. However, given the influence of moonlight on the peak night, observers may only see 10 to 15 meteor showers per hour at this time. According to the astronomers, a better opportunity to observe the shower this year may be a few nights before this peak, on the night of August 9th, when it may be possible to see 30 meteors per hour inside a limited window. The moon will set around 60 minutes before dawn on this night, leaving a very black sky at the conclusion of the night, when the meteor shower's radiant will be at the highest in the sky. We don't know if we can see it, we can only hope for the best. If you want to learn more about space and stay on top of astronomy news and updates, subscribe to the channel, check our previous videos, and if you love reading, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.